Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you the 15 items I have going out today on eBay. It is a Monday, so these were my weekend sales. Friday was a holiday, so I think that also helped pick sales up because we're counting for three days today. So um, we have a gross profit of over $675, and my cost of goods was roughly $45. Bucks. Um, so let me show you the few things that sold, a couple things that are definite bolos that you always want to keep an eye out for, as well as I'm going to show you my packing and shipping at the end of this video. So let me know what you think of that if you like this style, um, just to show you a few extra things in the business day in the life. So um, while I'm holding it, I'll start with this Big Bertha Callaway Golf Club. Um, this guy sold for $55, and I pick up individual clubs for maybe a dollar or two at a yard sale. Then we've got this Pendleton jacket, shirt, flannel. Uh, this guy, I paid $5, um, and it sold for $50. Bucks. Uh, then we've got this Joss Banks. Uh, normally, I don't get men's jackets. This one, um, I just don't pick them up very much. But men's clothing is the only clothing I like listing because men tend to not deal with returns as much. Uh, when I'm selling stuff for women, I get a lot more questions and I get a lot more returns. Um, men are just simple. They just buy what they want and they're happy with it. So this jacket was brand new with tag, original 345 bucks. Um, I don't know if they got it in an outlet or something, but I picked it up for $5 and flipped it for 32 bucks. <laughs> so yeah, for almost a $400 jacket, $30. I'm happy to get rid of it. Um, we've got Married with Children. This Married with Children set, I pick these up all the time. A um, couple dollars, I don't remember exactly, but a dollar or two. And they sold for um, $30, complete series. Department 56 Power Supply, easy $20. TP-Link Gigabit. Anytime you can find anything that's Gigabit or um, Wi-Fi 6. If you can find anything with Wi-Fi 6, is the latest, hottest Wi-Fi. Um, most people know it has its value, but some people just don't understand it. So um, this guy sold for $45. Bucks. I paid $5 for it in the package. Um, we've got some classic Ugg boots. These guys sold for $70. Um, we've got knives. These are Wustoff knives. I love saying that name. Wustoff really holds his value. Um, so this set, I think I paid like $5 or so at an estate sale. Don't hold me to it. Um, I know I wouldn't have paid very much. And it sold for $50 bucks for this set. Um... I think I'm going to get right into the bolos. Mini disc players. If you've been watching me for any time, I've mentioned these all the time. Uh, mini disc players, Sony makes them. Um, TDK makes, uh, I think they make the player as well as the media for it. I picked this up $4 for this mini disc player in his box. These guys, I paid a dollar a piece. We have a gross profit. I think this one sold, well, one of these sold for $59. One sold for $70. So a dollar a piece. $2 into $130. <laughs> I'll do that all day long. Um, and this guy was the big one. Paid for in $4 and he sold for $90. Bucks. $90 for this. Um, we've got a basic cassette recorder same sale i paid a dollar or two for it sold for 20 bucks nothing major but super easy i also have some silverware that i must not have pulled yet silverware that um oneida i pick up oneida silverware all the time these were just the forks and they sold for 55 dollars. so i'll put that up on the screen as well and i think that covers all of my sales so we had 15 items $45 cost of goods, $675 gross. It was a great weekend. So stay tuned. Let me show you how I pack all this stuff up and get it shipped out for my eBay business. Thanks for watching.
All right, so thanks for watching. That's how I pack everything and ship it all to go out on eBay. A couple things you'll notice in that video. I did repackage that Pendleton shirt into a USPS flat rate box. Um, fat, sorry, flat rate padded envelope. Um, those envelopes cost $8.30, where in original bag, it was going to be almost $10. So I just stuffed it into a flat rate envelope. And then the other thing you'll notice is that USPS tube mailer for the, the golf club. I did cross out post office and put UPS on it. Um, I know it's frowned upon, and I give the post office plenty of money through shipping where the occasional golf club is cheaper to ship for UPS than it is on you um on USPS so thank you again for watching if you made it this far make sure you hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos have a fabulous day